Okay, hey guys, what's up? Evil Zombie here. So today I want to talk to you about a harmonica. Um, because recently I hurt my hand, so I haven't been able to do much. I can't do that many games, um, and I can't do guitar, and I can't do any kind of work that's physical. So it's frustrating. But in the meantime, I started doing harmonica because, well, I've had them, and I just never really took it seriously or took the time to really learn. So I got myself an East Harp. Um, this is well, you can see the box already wearing because I carry it everywhere. This is the East Harp um, T zero zero eight K, and it's a twenty to twenty five dollar harmonica. It depends on where you get it. I think you can get it on AliExpress for like fifteen to twenty somewhere in there. Amazon, it's like twenty five. But still, for the price, this is a good harmonica. There are some issues, but I'll get into that in a minute. Um, I have two of them. I have the A key one, and I have the C key, which is the normal standard um, harmonica key that you'll be getting, because most of the songs are written for C, and I think it's when a band is playing in G, you get the C harmonica out. It's like a rule of five, it's a whole music theory thing, where you go up five letters if they, or you go down back, back five letters if they're playing a certain key. But anyways, this is the harmonica, this is the C harp. Um, it's on this side. There you go. You can see they put a C on there. And it looks pretty good. It's just a nice colored paint. And these are not etched. It doesn't really have any kind of laser engraving. These are painted on, I think. Yeah, they're just painted. No kind of actual engraving. So those will probably wear off someday at some point. This is nice. It's very shiny. The comb is plastic. Um, it has bronze, like the phosphor bronze reeds, and they work well. Um, it kind of has a metallic, uh, slightly tingy sound to it, but it still sounds pretty good, has a nice tone to it, and it has the plate for the reeds is brass. Um, but so far I like it, and this is steel, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, and it also says C on the front there. And you can see the A key one, it's black, they have different colors for each of their different keys. Again, it's plastic comb, same build, has A there and A over there. That way you can have it sitting in your cases if you have a bunch of them and you can tell easily which one you want. And you can see, let's see, the A is a couple steps lower, it's a couple keys lower than the C. I'll show you. Yeah, it sounds just lighter, a little brighter overall. Um, the A key is like a nice, I prefer the A because it's really nice, warm. It's like, um, well, I guess I like it for the blues, but I can't hear certain tones anymore after years of metal and headphones and going to concerts and standing next to the speaker. <laughs> so I've killed my hearing, but I can, I can definitely hear the lower tones this one provides. Um, it's hard for me to hear the higher range on the C, but I still enjoy it. I enjoy playing it. It's fun. I can't do all the different tricks right now with my hand as it is, but that's why I'm getting used to bending. I'm getting used to, to tremolo. Um, I'm working on vibrato. That one is more of a throat thing. I'm, I'm working on it, but still, I've been getting into it, and I know this is kind of a long overview of harmonicas, but I'm getting into the review. So, Basically, these are, well, everyone says they're like the holy grail of cheap, of, of affordable harmonicas because of their $20 price tag, around $20, and the quality that comes close to the Special 20, which is like the standard harmonica for the industry, from Honer, with that, but that costs around 50 right now, um, at this point. It used to be like 40 something now it's in the 50 range, sometimes 55 and there's other honers like the Rocket, the Crossover. The Crossover is a really good one. That's like one of honers' top tier diatonic harmonicas, which is what kind of harmonica this is, a 10-hole diatonic. I have, oh, one of my kids' harmonics goes over here. This is a very different kind. It's mostly for chords. I can't remember the word, but I blues, you do the diatonic harmonica. That's what kind this is. And I do like the build quality of this. It feels tight. It feels sturdy. Unfortunately, the reeds do get stuck over time. That's my only real complaint. Oh, I have two complaints. My mustache hairs. I have also one good finger. 
all the other ones are sprained as well as the wrist. So I can at least do that. <laughs> so I can hold the harmonica like this and bounce it a little bit. I can do the one finger. Um, the reeds do get stuck every once in a while. They so you'll have a note that chokes every once in a while, and I can I've compared it in both harmonicas. It's fine on my A harmonica, no problem. But on this one, every once in a while, I've noticed that a reed will get stuck. It's very rare. I've only had to take it apart and fix it a couple times. Um, but everything really plays nicely as long as you're breathing gently, you're breathing from your diaphragm, and you're not like really killing it with the air pressure. You know, you're not sucking on the notes, you're drawing them in with your diaphragm, and then they work fine. Like, then they work fine. You're not going and choking the note out. It almost pulled a hair. <laughs> the downside to this design, the way they have it, you can kind of see that ridge in there. A lot of times my mustache hairs get caught in there. It's almost ripped them out. Well, I've actually lost a couple of hairs in there. Um, I honestly have. I've not lost them on my A1. It just seems to be a manufacturing defect in this one, maybe. But as far as I know, it's not mustache friendly. So it has taken hairs and it hurt a lot. I've lost three hairs so far in the past three weeks. It's one hair a week and it hurt like crap. On the good side, so that's a big downside if you have a mustache. On the, I've never lost anything down here, just up there. Um, on the good side, another, another good side is the plastic um, comb because there's no chance of it swelling. It's sturdy. It's reliable. It has a different tone, of course, than a wooden comb, but you don't have the swelling issue and it's easier to clean. And that is a big plus. I mean, even the Special 20 is a plastic comb. That's a great thing. This is kind of designed after that. It's a good form factor. Some people have complained about it not being very comfortable to play for long periods of time with the sharp edges. This is a little bit of a sharp edge right here, and the corners are a little sharp. But if you have big hands, it should be fine. You know, it just kind of cups in there, and you're not, as long as you're not, like, really wedging yourself in there. Just hold it comfortably. Have your hands up. And then, well, I can't open my hand right now, but normally you'll cup it. But you're going to have your hands up. You're not like going to be clenching the sucker. You're going to hurt your hands that way. You hold it gently. This is an instrument, and it's like it's for doing a form of art. That's a big thing about playing the harmonica. As long as you don't overkill it, and you just relax your body, relax your throat, you relax your breathing, you'll actually get really good tones out of this, and you'll enjoy it. It's going to sound really good. And so far, I'm liking it. Yeah, I'm terrible at it so far, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I really do like the A, though. Good stuff. I really do love their A1. This one, I've actually had way less problems. I haven't lost any hairs on this one. I think I just manufacturing thing with the other one. It's really easy to take these apart as well. Um, with my one finger, I'll show you. It just takes a small Phillips screwdriver on both sides. It's a, what's the word, a sex bolt. It's a sex bolt, very tiny one, where one side is the female screw, the other one's a male screw, and it actually goes inside the other one. So it meets in the middle. It's not like a bolt, it's just, or it's not like a standard bolt and nut. It's a sex bolt, so that actually makes it really easy to do this because you just hold one side and then you can unscrew the other one. Um, like just take any TV screwdriver that you have a million of because every TV, every monitor always comes with one of these. It's like the perfect size for it. It's a very small little screwdriver. It's on both sides. Then the plates will come off and you'll just have the, um, reed, the reed plate and the comb together. Um, I can do a whole other video or I can just point you to another video that teaches it better than me on how to adjust those. But it's easy to maintain your harmonica. It's easy to adjust the reeds so that you can get better bends on it. And just Because some harmonicas, especially at this price range, you might have to open it up and just bend the plates a little bit to make sure that you have uh, enough gap. You have to do gapping on it sometimes. But it's really easy. It didn't take that much effort at all. I mean, it was easy enough for me. And I'm not very good at any of this stuff. I don't have any finesse right now. I can't do anything with this one. So even doing it one-handed, I was fine. Um, just be careful and take your time. A lot of times to, I use a toothpick 
um, to do the plate, the reed plates, because it's wood. It's a bit softer than doing it with metal, and then you're not going to scratch up your reeds. Just be gentle and just bend them slightly so you can get the small gap. On the the bottom ones are the are the draw, and the top ones are the bl- are the blows. So that will tell you at least what to do with that. And these are all in tune. They're all very well done. Um, let's see scales and single notes and all that there's no it's airtight there's no uh leaking at all you can do you can do your chords or you can go and you can do all your single notes no problem And shaking tremolo, (laughs) because, yes, I'm working on the vibrato, but that bending is possible on this. It's not too hard to do it. I'm just not very good at it yet because I've only been practicing for a few weeks, but even so, bending is still pretty easy. Yeah, it's easy enough to do your bends. Even as a newbie, I can still kind of get bends. Um, There are some websites, what's it called? Bend It Better, I think it was, on harmonica.com. They have a, a thing where you can hook up your harmonica, or you can hook up your microphone to it, and it will actually tell you how far down you're bending. And that works great. It's a great tool. I'll put a link in the description for it so you can just go to their site and then practice your bends. But bending is possible on this, and it works well on all of them, their whole line. So that is a great harmonica from East Top, and I honestly like it. The case itself... The build quality of the case is great. The case itself feels good, and they all come with their with a little cleaning cloth um, because you're going to spit on this sucker. Don't eat right before you play, or it's going to get really messy and nasty. Um, the downside is the silk screening does wear off, as you can probably see right there. The other one uh, is newer. I got this um, like a week and a half later. And it's still fresh and new, but this one I carry to my pocket more often. And it's already wearing off. I've only been playing for three weeks, so the silk screening is, st- is already wearing off on that. But I, if once it goes off, I'm just going to put stickers on there. Do something else. Have my kids decorate it for me, you know? But the build quality of it is good. It's a, it's like a semi-hard case. It, ha- it And uh, I don't know, just it's nice. It keeps it protected. It keeps it safe. Another thing, see if I can zip this up. With my one hand. Okay, and it has a belt loop also. I've been, sometimes I just put it on my belt. Well, I can't do belts right now because of this. But when I was, (laughs) before I got hurt, I started right away. Um, You can just loop it onto your belt and you can walk around like that. It'll just sit sideways on your waist. And you can choose which way you're going to flip it. Oh, yeah, and they have stickers for the key, even though the cases are differently colored. So you can kind of tell because... They're the same color as the harmonicas inside. Um, I haven't gotten any of their other colors. I think they have different ones for like the key of F is probably the one I'm going to get next because it's two steps above the C. Um, oh no, that's E? So it's three steps above the C. But I kind of want to get the whole range of them. I want to get like seven of them so I can have a decent key range, you know? And a lot of times I play in first and second position. haven't really dabbled that much in third position and higher notes also. Um, but overall, I would recommend this if you're interested in learning harmonica. If you're interested in it, then this is definitely a good harmonica to jump in on because it's like 25 bucks at the most, and it's a decent build quality. You're going to get something nice for relatively cheap, and overall, it's probably one of the cheaper instruments because even like the hardcore diatonic harmonicas are like 120 130 for like a solid steel one with steel plates and steel reeds and everything steel comb uh sindel i think is the company that does that or sidel sindel but no that's like the hardcore ones and that's still less than 200 dollars. so it's a cheap uh, hobby you can get some harmonicas for 10 dollars. i wouldn't suggest it because if you go under 20 dollars, the price or the quality range really dives the reason this is a cool harmonica is because it's at that price range while still being good. And it's it's probably about the quality of maybe a $35 harmonica. You know, it's above its $20 cost. It's worth more. 
So that's why I jumped on this one. I also have a uh, Kongsheng, what, Kongsheng um, Amazing 20. That's what it's called. I have an Amazing 20 in the mail on the way. That one's supposed to be designed um, kind of in spite of the, what's it called, the Special 20 from Honor because the Chinese company Kongsheng wanted to make their own version of it. So I'm going to check that out when it comes and I'll give you my review see if it compares to this because it's also a $20 one it's also plastic uh, comb and the same build materials and everything but it's supposed to be more rounded and maybe it'll be more comfortable we'll find out I'll jump into that when I get it maybe I'll do a review on this one that's more of a novelty but it actually plays if you guys want to do a review on that this was a dollar so I was like oh that looks fun so anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me babble on because I can just babble. I can talk to no end. I'm sorry. I've been very alone because I've been working like 12-hour days. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.